This summer, we decided to do something that's never been done before. We took high school kids from the Stoke program who've never done anything in advertising or film and decided to give them control of a national commercial. Not just any commercial, but a commercial for one of the hugest brands on the planet, Mountain Dew, with one of the hugest stars, Lil Wayne. No! This is that journey. I'm Steve Larzulier, and I'm the president and founder of Stoked. Stoked! And Stoked is a youth development organization and snowboard mentoring program. Just watching you guys be in a new environment, it's going to be cool to watch. I always smile. Yeah. can never go wrong. There's a lot of kids that don't really have positive role models out there. They're on the verge of greatness or failure. So we push them towards their greatness. My name is Jasmine Paredes. I am 16 years old, and I'm from Brownsville, Brooklyn. I have no family members who have gone to college, and I don't think I have a family member who finished high school. My name is Destiny Modesti. I'm 17 years old, and I'm from Brooklyn, New York. It's a lot of gang violence, peer pressure. When you first learn how to snowboard, you fall, and then you get back up. The more you fall, you learn how not to fall. The less you fall, the more confident you become. And what's that? That's like life, right? My name is Javon Chapman. I'm 17 years old. I love being active and moving around, longboarding, surfing. Today we're going to be doing a brand immersion. Kids are gonna learn more about Mountain Dew. In this project, we're surrounded by people that make a living from their passion. All right guys, well we tried to hook you guys up with some t-shirts and notebooks so you guys can feel a part of the team. And what we wanna do now is just try to give you guys a little bit of an immersion in the brand and Dew. The first Mountain Dew commercial. Mountain Dew! Let's go to the 80s. I think they were trying to target like cool. only specific cool people. I want to make sure you guys have seen some of the newer work. That's the love right there. I'm Paul Rodriguez, and this is how I do. I'm Mac Miller, and this is how I do. But did you guys notice that there's somebody who doesn't have a commercial yet? Little Yeah. That's what you guys are gonna do for us. Do you understand? Like, it's, it's kind of big, man. This is a big deal. <laughs> We're really, really excited about it, and we really, really need your help, and we need it to get done quick. So, no pressure. There's a lack of opportunity and to be able to give young people the chance to just say, all right, this is my one shot. My name is Jabari Pahal. I'm 17 years old. I'm from Trinidad and Tobago. This is like a big opportunity for me. Moments like this, me, Julian Canary from Flatbush, it's like, it's not something that happens to everybody. This is our hometown. This is our home for the next two weeks, guys. This is our space. We've been given the opportunity to create a Mountain Dew commercial starring Lil Wayne. We're Skyping Chris Robinson, who is our project coach and the director, who you guys are going to be working with intimately next week to figure out the Dew Weezy commercial. Hey, this is going to be a fun ride for everybody, especially for me, getting to work with you guys who have the freshest ideas. And you'll learn how to really take an idea that's in your head, then take that idea and turn it into art. You got the time of the food chain because you're about to do a Mountain Dew commercial, which is pretty sick. This commercial is real. It's with Lil Wayne, Mountain Dew, and we have some high school kids who are gonna do the concept. It's crazy.
Last week was total brand immersion. This is the week we got to come up with the idea. We got some amazing people here to kind of help with the journey. These guys are serious pros. We're going to break up into teams. Let's think about Wayne and Mountain Dew. Find images to put together a vision board that kind of sets the path and the direction for how you're going to think about the spot. I just ripped this one out. I kind of like the state, the state of mind. When I saw this, what I started to think about was Wayne's state of mind. What would that be? So I had this idea of this. It's like half pipe ramp that goes into the crowd. So Wayne takes a simple mountain dew, and then he just stage dives in, off the ramp into the crowd. Do you. Do we. That's hot. We worked on concepts and concepting, and their ideas came from a really true place. I was thinking that it was, we would start off with like some kid just drinking a Mountain Dew. He's at a skate park, starts skating, he throws it, and like it switches frames, and somebody like just catches it. And like somewhere like around the world, like China, they're skating, they do the same thing, like and it switches flavors each time like you throw it. My name is Nandy Kaysan, I'm 14 years old and I'm from Flatbush, Brooklyn. I skateboard about every day. I love that it gets me out the house, I'm not playing video games all day. Possibly have a little Wayne just standing in like a random, random warehouse and at the end he's gonna have his fans in the background chanting him on since it's like a do nation thing. He can fall from a rocket ship or like just like fall from Mars and then he like comes out the water and then he's all like, this is how I do. He's a skateboarder all the time and then the other one's like, he's a rapper all the time and then Lil Wayne comes in and he's like, I'm both. So he's Woo! Like, wow. To see all that work happen in front of us is unbelievable. You talk about it in, in the first place and it just happens right in front of you and you don't even realize it. Although we want to make it entertaining, we also want to sell the product actually, not just be there. She's coming for your job tomorrow. I know. <laughs> we have a really broad sense of ideas. You all need to start thinking about what's the best idea and then sharpen that idea so that when you present it to the group, it's the best. You're not in the spotlight. You only have yourself to impress. But what defines you, what stimulates you, is that one second. You gotta cut the copy on that. Shorten it. You got 30 seconds, you got 60 seconds working a copy. In terms of uh, you are what you're made of, just showing him, you know, in all the different ways that he works hard. And then in the background, have him narrating it, saying you can't go anywhere or do anything without work, hard work. Turn that idea and make it more Mountain Dew-like. I didn't like think that so many thoughts went into one commercial. We had so many ideas, me and my team, that we have to like cut it down. It was a long process. Do you think they're doing something or is it just on their face? I think some could be just on their face and some could be like a voiceover of them doing something. So did you have any seed of ideas? Uh, I don't like you gotta have something to sit at the table. You walk, you're breathing, you're living. You're your own person. There's a core of something in you, you just don't know what it is. The spot starts off with a white page and a splatter of ink, like an ink blot, just pops onto the page. And from the top, you're gonna see the back of like Lil Wayne's head. And he says, I don't care what or how they see me, because I'm always gonna just do me. That's cool. That's really smart. I would figure out technique, and I would figure out some way that you put your star in there. All the little details will come later. Let's at least get the, the synopsis. To see people working and to see them, like how everything comes together is a great experience. When you watch an idea develop right before your eyes, from the morning to the evening, and being somebody who works with ideas and creativity all day, I was impressed. This is a very important next step. Everyone's gonna go into their groups and you're gonna decide what ideas you wanna bring to the table to present to Chris, you're gonna present to the brand team. These two are pretty tight. The FM is just self-explanatory, it's just you have to... But well, it's not self-explanatory, you have to sell it. Okay, so this one is about um, Will Wayne. He's on his way to a concert, he's on his tour bus. And then, like, he looks out the window and then he sees a skate park in Miami. One of our top ideas was, like, called Martian. It opens on a mysterious silhouette covered in green smoke, standing in front of a bright light, which appears like a spaceship. It's called the Spotlight. We're gonna be in, like, a warehouse. Little Wayne will be in a warehouse. It will open up on Little Wayne's feet, and he's gonna be like, why start rapping in high school when I can start in elementary school? The Deweezy Anthem, it would be Little Wayne who starts by saying, some folks say you push so they can brag. And he's gonna be like, why write one platinum album when you can have three? A drop of ink just 
pops onto the page, then that starts animating. It would open on an old man version of Lil Wayne rapping on stage. So the camera will pull out and you'll see fans in the back, like a hundred fans, he's like standing proud. And then he's gonna take a sip of the do, and he's gonna be like, why do it alone when you can do it with a nation? And then he's gonna be like, this is Lil Wayne and this is how we do. That's great. And you see something about a spotlight. The spotlight's on him the whole time. A warehouse, and it's like a dark warehouse. Something like this, but it's just like the light is on him. Once we vote on him, then you guys gonna, we're gonna give you guys as an opportunity as one team to think about it for 10 minutes or so before you cast your vote. That's the real world. Some things that we love may die today. The first spot that we will be boarding up today is Skate Park. Yeah. Second spot is Anthem and Pledge. Those are both together. We put them together. So, and then the third. What the spotlight? I'll tell you. This one's the spotlight. Spotlight. And let's remember, one team now. One team going all the way, right? Because we're all going to Miami. We're all shooting whatever spot the Do Nation votes on together. After all the concepts were chosen, they were put online. And so then the public got to choose. And they ended up choosing Spotlight, one of my favorite spots. We're gonna go to Miami and make a commercial. My top three goals is being on set, I'm having a successful commercial, and enjoying the moment and soaking it in. They're looking at it like going to Miami is a business trip. My favorite part of today was just being able to come here and like going on the plane. And then we got into the limo and we was driving around. I really felt like a rich person for a second. To go to the Rich Carlton Hotel, it is like amazing. I can't wait to see Lil Wayne and film the commercial. Tomorrow we're gonna hop on a plane to go back to our lives, right? I always like to think, how can I carry a piece of what is happening right now back into my life so that I always remember this and it motivates me to stay focused on my goal so that I can stay focused on being successful. When we get back to New York, you go back to school, you kill it at school so that you can end up back here in Miami working and doing some kind of thing related to who you want to be in your own life on your own terms. How y'all doing? This is the part of filmmaking that's like the boring part. We're still setting up the lights. You go in, you take a look, you'll see the DP. And just to make something look normal and regular, it takes a lot of lights. That light that you guys want, in order to really see a light, it can't just be dark, it needs to be smoke, so you can kind of see some of that smoke. How do you get inspired? How do you stay motivated and inspired? Every day there's hope for something fresh, or something new, or a new idea, or a new way to do things, so it never gets boring. Whose idea was Spotlight again? So you guys had that great idea with the crowd. We built two platforms. We have 100 extras here, and we're going to see every single one of them. We're going to be off this pillar here. You're not going to see the, the background. And then as he comes in, we're going to push this dolly. See how smooth it is? I'm always trying to learn new things. I'm always trying to humble myself down in front of people that know things that I don't. You get smarter from that. I do it alone when I got the Doom Nation. Lil Wayne says, why do it alone when I can do it with the Doom Nation? And I think that moment really kind of solidified for me the same feeling for the project. Spread knowledge and open this up to these kids and they are the nation, and they are who's next. What do you boys just think right now? Any notes? The chug shot just looks so natural. Okay. All right. Good. Like, right. steps back before like this. Chris Robinson, just sitting there, he's in his chair looking at the screen, and there were two seats right there. Still Kids just went and sat right next to him. They made it happen, and they had his ear. And action. Why be anyone else? when I can do me. I'm happy. You guys are happy. Let's make sure they're happy. Are you happy? I've been having some fun. Nice meeting you.
Thanks again. It was nice. It was meeting awesome you. in there too. Thank you. Thanks. Nice meeting you. I've learned that you don't become a professional overnight. There are people just like us. Just because they've gotten really far in life doesn't mean you should be scared of them. They're really taking away like a lot of confidence. I just want to show kids the door, open it up, say, you know what to do when you get inside. And then I want them to look at me and say, yeah, I know what to do. You're in the edit bay here, the edit room. We captured all this footage. We're going to go through and start cutting together the spot. Let's play these down. You guys tell me which one you guys like. Why do anyone else? when I can do me. This is two? Why be anyone else when I can do me? Why be anyone else when I can do me? Like the most energy. Yeah, 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 yeah. So we'll put that in, right? So here, here's yours. Why be anyone else when I can do me? Why do it alone when I got to do me? So here's another cut. Why be anyone else when I can do me? Why do it alone when I got to do me? I like that one. Well, look, you guys have done awesome. Make sure we all vote which one we like the best. And then we'll uh, we'll kind of see where we where we net out, right? Nice meeting you guys. Yeah. Thanks. Thanks. Yeah, you too, dude. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Really Pleasure, man. Time, Pleasure. Actually. I always tell the kids, smile, give a good handshake, make people like you. That's half the battle. So happy I did this project. It was like the best. Otherwise, like I would be doing nothing right now. The Deweezy project was like the best experience. I got the chance to go to Miami and experience things not any other 15 year old could do. The reason we're all here is tonight we're going to unveil the final polished commercial for the first time. So it's pretty exciting. The fruits of your labor. Seeing like my ideas actually be implemented was an amazing feeling. This was completely concepted coming from the Stoke Kids. Being on this project, yeah, definitely opened my eyes. Like, there's so many possibilities in the world. And this kind of thing doesn't happen a lot for Mountain Dew to say, you know what, this uh, affects more than our bottom line and more than our regular marketing. I just want to say thank you to everyone who was a part of this project and like supported and mentored all of us. We just learned so much, got to meet need so many awesome people. My dreams are the same, but like I'm more focused right now. I see like I could get into the world, like I have connects here and stuff. Thank you for like the best summer ever. <laughs> Why start rapping in high school when you can start in elementary school? Why make one platinum album when you can make five? Why stop at rapping when you can skate too? Why be anyone else? When I can do me. I'm Lil Wayne, and this is how I do it. Why do it alone when I got to do me? I believe in creativity. Creativity is a muscle. When you flex it, it grows stronger. I believe in a great brand and the power that a brand like Mountain Dew can have. I believe in what Stoke does. And I think most importantly, Ten of you, I believe in you. More than that. I want to see where these kids go. Hopefully I can hire them at some point. One, two, three, stop!